Do you do in case it's easier for you, or does it not matter? Let me unmute first, or, or mute. <laughs> Is Becky coming back? She's right here. We're discussing where she's going to be. I can do it by the phone if okay. you want to I'll stay in your office. Am. Okay. If you're good, I just want to make sure. We're good. She's here. She's going to be in the, the, her office, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. So are we ready to start? I am. Um, oh, hold on. I just lost, oh, Chrome. <laughs> forget how to do this backwards now. I just, I just swiped and lost us. Wait a minute. You can hear me still, right? Yes. I just can't see anybody and I don't know how to see who's talking and who's present. Well, that's oh, okay. me. I was in your office last, we can see you, but you're frozen. Right, I just swiped though. I, I think I'm gonna try shut down and come back. Hold on for just a half a minute, bye. Okay. All right. All right, I can just come to her office and she can, we can have it on the table. Hi everybody. Hello. Hi. Don't know whether to sit down or not. <laughs> yeah, I, I still I turned it off. I'm turned it back on. I still hear you. Now I have speaker on and it says Zoom. Now you're going. I'm gonna go down there because I think just having her on my computer is probably the, the way to solve this the fastest. Okay. Well, well wait. Okay. Now, of course, as I walk down the hall, I'll probably freeze up. So because it's going to change connections to a different router. So if that happens, don't panic. I'll be right back. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to make uh, April the host. Uh-oh. I'll make Jeff a call. Don't you dare make me the host. <laughs> I almost worked in. You have good years, Jeff. Okay. April, you'll be all right. You'll be fine. I'll be right. I'll <laughs> see you in Leslie's office. There's Leslie. I've got to take a mask in case I need it. Jeff just disappeared. I'm oh, here. I'm not going to touch anything except to make sure I know who's present. Yep. Okay. And Leslie, you're working fine, so you don't want need me down there. Not unless you want to come down. I'm good. Okay. I'm not going to touch anything. No swiping. Okay. So Jeff, did you just call the meeting to order? When we're calling the meeting to order. Okay. Five three three. Okay. Part of the agenda, item one. Welcome, April. Thank you. <clears throat> you get to see how this group goes. I'm looking forward to it. I, I think it'll be interesting. Um, you know, and it's a, the, it just it seems like it'll be fun. Maybe <laughs> it'll be interesting. A chance it'll to learn something new. It'll be interesting. Yes. Your, your course book is already here, April, and instructions how to do everything to take the test, take the I course know. in the test. I can't wait. I wonder if I, yes, I will start. The test isn't that tough. So uh, it just, it, it takes a while to get through all of it. Yeah, there's okay. a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, approved meeting minutes, October 25. Everybody okay with the meeting minutes? Howard, did you get a chance? I, am. I approve. April, did you look at them? I did, but I can't, I have to abstain. Okay, I looked at them, they're fine, they're approved. Thank you. Yep. 
So accountant reports previously submitted using the assessor signature stamps. Is that, Leslie, is that you? That, that would be me using the stamps. They're reports that I've done for years. Uh, Ellen's seen them all and hasn't found anything wrong with them. Uh, I sent copies for you folks just because you're the ones who are supposed to approve and sign them. And uh, leading up to number four, uh, I just thought starting a new year, it would be good for you folks to authorize office staff and consultants to continue to process abatement, exemption applications and commitments as, uh, to in, in monthly reports to the accountant using your signature stamps prior to your review at meetings. I'm fine with proof. Yeah. Do you need April to come in sometime and signature so we can do a stamp for her? She did. It's all You've done. done it. oh, that's all done? Yes, okay. yes, sir. We are on the ball. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. So was that was that a formal vote? I can uh, that I read the wording straight off the agenda, but I, uh, that's uh, off the agenda from number four. Um, that was formal. formal. Yeah, I right. concur. Thank so, you. Uh, it started during COVID, April, because people weren't coming in and we're still not meeting um, yeah. in person. Okay. Okay. Item number five, chapter 61. Yes, uh, lot 07 is a 10 year renewal. Uh, the, it was owned by two people, then by one of the two people sold to the other. And so in that it's the 10 year renewal, I asked him to, uh, pre to, to I asked him for the check for filing a new uh, certificate at the registry. And he told me that probably the woman who wasn't on it, this who is no, long, no longer owns the property, will own the property again with him soon. So <laughs> just trying to chase, chase keeping track. I think it was, I, I yeah. <laughs> And uh, there's, the application is complete as far as I can see. It's all signed. Mm -hmm. What I need from the chairman is his signature on three certificates that go back to uh, Mass Forestry, uh, Recreation, Conservation and Recreation, and to the owner, and we keep one. And also, uh, the vote of the board to approve the application, which is in the office if anybody had wanted to see it or still can at any point. But it is just a standard application. All the boxes are checked properly. It's a renewal in effect, but because a man and a woman had owned it previously, then sold to the man, and they both signed the new 10-year application, and when I spoke to the man, he said, <coughs> excuse me, he said the woman, they anticipate the woman will be put back on the deed soon. That's all I know. So where is 07? Where is this it's lot? It's up on Pelham Hill Road on the east side um, between Baker and Leonard. It's, um, if, if you want, I can give the names. I, tend to just go with uh, map and parcels, but it, the name, the current owner is Robert Price. Uh, 386 Pelham Hill Road. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now do you need me to come in and sign it next week? If you're up to it, yes. If I'm, if I'm safe, I'll come in. When you're yeah. safe, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Uh, assuming the board of, uh, votes to approve renewing it. I approve. Thank yeah. you. Should, should I make them? And Steinai, should, should we make motions? Yeah, we've never done that. 
Okay. <laughs> but it's really a good idea. <laughs> I welcome the suggestion, <laughs> but but we all have been trying to deal with COVID for a long time. Yeah. All right, you're, number you're, six. You're muted. I said Jeff likes to dismiss with things that take too long. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm not into process. How about that? We'll go with we're into, we're into results, not process. How's it? That's good. And and I just want to um, introduce George Arbonitis, if you don't know him. Mm -hmm. um, um, he is interested potentially in becoming an assessor. Mm -hmm. since, uh, since Jeff has um, let us know that this he will be done with the assessors at the end of January. Yep. Hi, everyone. Hey. George, we have a training book ready for you too. <laughs> I'm along. I'm ready. Let's Are you really? Like, wow. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna. I'm sure I'm gonna do it. Good. Good. Cool. You'll That's you'll awesome. enjoy it. I'll enjoy it. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm gonna hold you to that. I'll remind you that you said that. I will be reminding you, George. I don't understand this, but you have a mathematical and financial mind. You can tell me. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Let's not jump ahead. The Thank two you. books are in the assessor's office waiting. First come, first serve. One is black and one is purple. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Item six. You ready for that, Leslie? I am. Uh, all the commitments are, I, I, I put them up, to, uh, I sent them out to you. Yep. I can go through the uh, totals one by one with you if you'd like me to. Real um, estate, well, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I looked it over to Howard. Did you look those over? I, I did. Yeah, I well. looked them. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. It's okay. Yeah, I did look them over. Um, I, I mean, they were like the same ones. I had, a, I had a couple of questions about I don't know, the next Terra. The reassessment. Uh, okay. Yes, okay. George can probably answer it better than me. I'm good, okay. unless Becky wants to. My understanding is that once the tax rate is, there's a given amount that next year pays on a schedule for 20, 20 or 25 years. And once the tax rate is set, then they have to back into the value. Is that correct, Becky? Yes, and therefore, we have to uh do the uh, what do we what did i call it what did we call it we have to do it after the commitment is made so it's called a um next era additional tax due personal property valuation and i i just want you to know that uh david burgess is responsible for our consultant, David Burgess, mm -hmm. is responsible for calculating that all for us. And we're very grateful to him for that. Yeah. And I made sure he got a copy of the, the latest next year pilot that was added to um, when they added the batteries to the system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so okay. that, should, that makes a lot of sense. And we have to, you know, the pilot is 25 years. We're in the fourth year, I think. But uh, the chart's in the drawer. If anybody wants to come in, they can see it. It's third or fourth. On the, on the paper that I, on what I saw, it looked like it was called a reassessment. Like it had been reassessed, the property. Am I wrong about that? It's called a, uh, no, uh, Get, I'm trying to find it. It's fiscal year 23, additional tax due, assessor's revision of personal property valuation warrant to the collector. Yeah. Yeah. It was not a reassessment. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No problem. No. Just... I just know we didn't pay anybody right. to reassess it. <laughs> and we didn't have anybody to reassess it. So it's a Okay, on what I have, it's a re it says revised. It says I have two lines. I have original assessment, one million something, and then a revised assessment of four million something. Yeah. 
Correct. And the re and the revision is what Leslie went through at the very beginning of this. It's mm -hmm. it's not as though property was reassessed. It's something else. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. The original assessment, I assume, and correct me if I'm wrong, Becky, would be what uh, they paid in the first two quarters. No, I, that's not, I don't think that's the case. Um, I know when they produced the original bill, well, there was, I realized reviewing um, the values that the value on the next era property was uh, for one small portion of it and not the full thing. And then Roy noted that uh, David Burgess attempted to correct the, the valuation prior to the bills being sent over to point. Um, he was too late to do that. Uh, Roy said that we could use this method uh, for the correction and that's what we're doing. So basically they were only billed for a small portion of the pilot um, assessment. And now they, the, this is the correction to make sure the full value is being taxed. And does this include the battery or not? Yes. That is including the battery. Yeah, it's just, it's close, getting close to 100,000. I don't recall the total amount. The batteries added originally of another 10,000. I think it's like 12,000 now. And so we're getting close to $100,000 a year billing on this. Okay, I have a question. There's a pilot for this? Yes. For this next terror? Yes, the select board uh, negotiated a pilot for the Wheelock property that's off Crack Corner Road. Um, the, the six megawatt solar um, industrial solar site. Okay, so when you when you talk about taxes in relation to this, you're talking about the pilot, which yeah. is instead of taxes. <laughs> Well, it has to be translated to the tax rate. Okay. Um, so okay. there's a calculation done that uses the tax rate and to come up with the amount on the pilot. So okay. it's just we're taxing, we determine what the tax was gonna be so that they would know for their business planning. And that's what the purpose of a pilot is so that, um, companies can project their costs and know them ahead of time. And uh, this this particular pilot has a two and a half percent escalator on it. And um, so every year it increases and then we back into it to get it on the tax rolls from the pilot. Okay, okay, thank you. And it's just part of the general fund. Is that correct? Yes. What about the general fund? The, this the this tax revenue just goes yeah. in, into our regular general yeah. fund. Yeah. yeah. Even though it's per yeah. They changed the calculation how DOR changed the rules of how solar um, sites had to be um, determined on. Uh, through DOR originally, they currently have our personal property. When we originally started uh, the project, they were through new growth. So there's, because we were caught between two different processes, there's been confusion over time. And that's why I think they only picked up one piece of the pilot. Because Roy kept thinking there were two different solar installations, but they had been split out at different times because of the confused history because of DOR's rule changes over time. And, and for uh, when you said you think it calculates out to 100,000, I remember now that's how I first recognized there was a problem because our personal property warrant was so low. And mm -hmm. then that's when we got David involved to figure out what was going on. And you, I think you were working with both of them, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So this, come up, so had questions originally. Um, but what it, it comes out to about half of our personal property income is what I'm thinking at this point. Yeah. So that $55,000 
is the correction for the taxes. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. May I ask a question? A question about this? Is this is this one of the documents, Leslie, that you had forwarded to me? I see there's one here for Nextera. That's it. So these numbers aren't equating to what everybody's mentioning though on this report. Additional tax 55,629, is that what we're talking about? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And Becky, you referred to it as a pilot mm -hmm. payment in lieu of taxes is the yep. agreement with yep. for solar. But the valuations are actually in the, are they in the property tax calculation? Are they in the levy? They're in, the levy is the amount the town spent. It is determined. We I believe need to they pay. are in the levy because they are they are on the LA. I don't know LA four LA thirteen. I've seen the industrial. Yes, it's part of the levy, but it's it's all confusing right now because it 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 first went in as new growth and would have naturally flowed to the levy, but instead the second half of it was forced to go in through personal property. Um, and then we had to get them back together. So on the recap for the current year and the current tax rate, it's sitting, its value is part of the tax calculation or is it an add-on to the, how does that work? Is this a bad time to ask? I don't wanna. Yeah, it's a bad time to ask. Because <laughs> 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 I don't have all the answers. Um, I can tell you a lot of stories, though, if you want. <laughs> well, I, you know, and I've heard some of the stories because this does come up and people ask about it at town meeting. Too, Absolutely. So. Yeah. And, so, and, and I think the best thing would be for you to you could even ch check in with David Burgess on Friday when he's here hmm. or maybe there's a better way to do it. But he will be here on Friday afternoon. Well, yeah, I don't want to. I mean, he's he's volunteering and he's got limited time. I, if Becky can explain to me some point in the future, we'll have an opportunity. Yeah, it's I not critical for me to know at this point. No, it's a yeah. long, long story. Yeah, I can show. I, I mean, it's caused. I went to the the director of uh, of uh, what's her name again, Leslie, the woman that Gate was speaking at your event, Kathleen um, Caleri. I spoke to Kathleen Caleri about it, and that's when they, when it was, when they were using the two, it doesn't, we are just, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense. That's all, all right. I have to say. Sorry I asked. No, it's, it, it's a good question, and it makes more and more sense as you get familiar with it. And there's a whole file in here. I'm when sure. you pick up your book, you could look at it. Someday well, I will. This particular I example that. doesn't make sense. It's not that it's just because it got caught between two different processes mm -hmm. that to answer a straightforward question is like, yeah, I know you got to start here and look over there and then weave it together. Sounds like an educational exercise. Thank you. I'll get to that at but some point before it, town meeting. It also is. It sounds like Nextera is a, one of the is a new, relatively new owner of the pro, of the property of the no they took over um so all the helpful um, um people who didn't want the solar farm to happen and all of that bankrupted the original lodestar the original contract oh. for the property so next era has been in charge since the completion the uh, six months after the completion of construction. Um, so Lodestar bailed, they sold to Lake Street and then Lake Street sold to Nextera. And Nextera really is um, a Florida um, public utility, oh. public utilities. Okay. Or do you need any kind of vote or approval from us on any of this, this issue? Oh, yes, you you have already signature stamped them for Ellen. And uh, so, yes, you, it would be lovely if you would. You can do it as a group, just authorize. Or you can go through them each one, but somehow. Uh, 
you you kind of did when you renewed your authorization for office staff and consultants to continue to process abatement and exemption applications and commitments and right. as an agenda item number five and mm -hmm. monthly reports the accounting accountant so you you've kind of done it okay I'm, I'm good with that you good with that howard and april yeah i had one other question um so the Greenbaum thing, where yes. uh, we're charging them, right, because it's come out of Chapter 61. That's yep. correct, and it's, it's a use change. OK, and, um, and, the, and that's a commitment, right? That we're, it's a commitment that we're being, that we're approving now, right? That was a rollback uh, tax due, and yes, it had to be put into it, a commitment, correct, yeah because okay. it's additional money coming in. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I saw that it's got interest on it, right? There's the charge to, right? Why is there interest? I mean, it's how? A, it's, it's part of the statute that they there's a simple 5% interest per year on the rollback taxes because hmm. they yeah, okay. benefit of they, not paying the taxes. Right. When did it come out of chapter 61? Uh, I, I could look up the exact date. How far? Roughly, just a pro are we talking a it month, a year? On the date of sale. No, December of 22. I think that it was, it sold. I'd have to look it up. Uh, and that it came out at that point. And then I can't remember when the, well, I can, do you remember when the select board voted not to exercise a right of first refusal? I think it was the summer. Yeah, it was okay. like, that's what they kept waiting for, right? So that was this fall, um, October. That's what when David started showing up to help us through that because because Hilda was calling him. So we have Hilda to thank for David ending up in our office. Which is wonderful. Yes, that's when uh, the, the work started, but the actual sale was much earlier. But yeah. no, or later, actually. Oh, she couldn't actually... sell until it was all figured out. Right. Yeah, I thought that was December that she came in and met with you and me. Yeah, I I do believe that. Uh, I can't find it in the paper paper. I can probably look it up, but I think we could continue with the meeting at the same time. So I'm that was this property yeah. yeah, I think it was just before. Not too far it, before Christmas. It was a coincidental meeting. It wasn't a planned thing. Right. Uh, Jeff had come in to sign some stuff and Hilda arrived and Hilda just took over the scene and did a nice job explaining a lot of her life history to us. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, so the taxes only go back to last to December of 20 last month the prior year oh I, you know Becky I can tell you it was December I was just telling you that uh yesterday uh, I was bought by Colin and Sherry right. Shelby Davis that was in this those were December deeds that's right so the sale went through on 12 6 December 6 2022 so the, that's that's when it came out of chapter 61 was a month ago. Uh, let, let me think about this. It actually through they it was in chapter 61 through December 31st because there the applications that are due on October 1st are for the next fiscal year. She did not apply for chapter status for October 1 of 22, which would have been for fiscal year 24. So yeah, so it came out of chapter on December 31st, technically, yeah. I, you're talking to the clerk who has no authority to tell you any of this, but yeah. you, but you all have your books you can read. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, Leslie. So the interest is only since December 
31st? That's what she's paying interest on? No, 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 because it goes back something like five years. It's in the in your in your book. If you read up on the chapter, because because they've had a reduced rate on the assumption that they were going to keep it in forestry, they've had a very significantly reduced tax rate. Now that all of a sudden they're taking it out, which means there's a quote rollback tax that I believe okay, okay. goes back. Five years. Okay, that's okay. That's what I didn't but know. David okay. did the calculations on it, not me. Thank. Okay, boy. thanks. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Great. So, are we ready to move on to item seven? Yes. Sure. <laughs> so <where's> the, <laughs> Let me see what's the annual report. Uh, remember, I sent it in September, but then it got kind of delayed uh, for approval. And basically, it's just it's just the um, numbers off. What is that uh, recap sheet? The first page of the recap sheet for FY twenty two. And there's there's more in the paragraphs. I just took what Ken Holmberg used to do, which then Kevin oh yeah followed, and what I'm following now. Yeah. Okay. No, I remember this. <clears throat> I approve. It was a good template to use. Hmm? I said it was a good template to use. Yeah. yeah okay. Because that's the summary, really. Okay. So you need an approval from us? I think this? so, because I don't think the clerk should be the one to mm -hmm. write it. You remember so, the forward? <laughs> I approve. Uh, I okay. Mean, I, approve. Fine, I, I do as well. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, item eight, review and comments on FY23 valuation recertification. What's this? Mine only would be gratitude to everybody who helped get us through it. Yeah, I, yeah I'm glad it happened. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're glad it happened. Um, I do know there's... Um, I'm still a little confused where we're at with personal pro uh, how we handled personal property. So I'm just going to follow up with um, David and Roy just to be clear. So when we go into the next quarter, we know how to produce. I'm clear on how we're producing our bills, um, even though it's going to change shortly since the collector is changing her software. But uh, I just want to make sure we have a better handle on personal property. Yeah, she, she, I confirmed with her, she's planning to change for FY24. Yeah. So I'm kind of sitting here with three lists, mm. trying to put together address labels to who I think those form of lists should go out to. And hopefully David will be here Friday for my question so that we can get them out. It's, it, for one thing, it's, second homes that uh, which are mostly at the lake but anywhere in town the contents of them and then it's the bu small businesses and large businesses but he said don't send them to utilities and i've read somewhere they are automatically required to send them so we don't have to or that it's calculated at a higher level um but I, I'm on the same page with Becky. I have questions for David too. So is this software generating questions on process or questions on values? <laughs> well, a little of each. Okay. <laughs> and and Dylan and David had a conversation about it the last time he was here. And he had given her a list that he felt might be should be eliminated and she worked on it the following week and gave it back to me and said give this to David I don't want to eliminate them yet and I will do that on Friday that's a fourth list <laughs> so and I, 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 I have a question not relative to this particular but sort of it comes up as you know, our commitment uh, to having an administrative assessor. You know, it sounds mm -hmm. like David is like 
he 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 was part of our town government years ago, I believe, wasn't he? He the was our treasurer, administrator, yeah. Professor. yeah. And what a wonderful thing he's doing! But this is not a lifelong commitment, I don't think. He's being paid but, for it, is he not? Well, is he not being paid I, for this? We tried. He told me we could not afford him. Uh, <laughs> he is working for uh, the. He is working for the consultants we also could not afford. In reality, um, RRG. Um, we have received, um, uh, and I should. We should. I don't know if it's gone to everybody. We received a proposal from Roy Bishop, and his firm. Uh, for, for assessor services. We have not gotten any um, resume responses at all from mm -hmm. the advertising for the administrative assessor um, through MMA. And um, so we're, we're gonna piece this together and it's gonna take a, a bit of work, but I, you know, with David's assistance on the side, we're gonna move forward and figure out um, how best to do it in a consulting world if there's no human beings that can assist, um, you know, an individual employee type situation. But I, I feel good that we've got Roy, David Spin and Angel. Um, I tried again, Leslie was incredulous when I told her, um, but he's, he said again when I talked to him um, around the holidays that at this point, no, he suggested maybe that I might reach out to RRG, but I, we're gonna talk a little bit more about that since there's another consultant in there and maybe get uh, endless. We're, we'll keep talking with David. Um, he knows that we um, feel that we should be paying him I think he also has just retired from Amherst. And I think in that first year he had limitations on what he could earn and he didn't want to muddy the waters. Um, so he's just being David, he assists us. Oh. From what we heard from Lauren, who was the DOR rep for us on the revaluation, David is, this is a habit of David's, oh. is helping towns in need. Um, but I don't know how we could have gotten through without him. It's wonderful. Yeah. And, okay. I know and, we, and we can't afford Roy, I take it? Is that the implication? Uh, Roy is, he came in uh, to do the reval. Mm -hmm. He does not work as an employee, but we are reviewing um, the consultant um, services that he has put together. Um, and it could be a perfect fit. We just... Um, oh. I haven't had a chance to sit down with Leslie and we'll bring it to the next meeting um, so we can start to, to get more solid on, on the future and not just rely on David's goodwill. Mm. And I okay. know it, it, exploring, trying to share um, this is position with other towns has probably been <coughs> talked about and probably not realistic. Well, like um, if I look around, they're all using consultants. They're all using RRG currently. Yeah. I don't think we have a standing uh, employee assessor. We were, I mean, finding Kevin was a, mirac a miracle at the time. It really was. It we was. got locked out there. Um, he made up for it and now we're moving. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I... Yeah. Is RRG there. Roy Bishop's firm, or is it something else? It's uh, RRG is a different firm. Yeah. Okay, fine. I can't David's remember, firm. That name, but it's another firm. David's firm, yes. It. I'm sorry. David's firm. It's the firm that David works for. I thought that's what you said. That. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And they're statewide at this point. The town maybe should, you know, offer David, you know, a free dinner at and uh, at, at the he AC. Tell me, sometime. I could take him to lunch. <laughs> That's right. So I'm gonna, I gotta take him to lunch and I just okay. find <laughs> find some place. It's a good lunch for not more than fifty dollars. I don't want the ethics commission on me. Okay. Yep. There you go. Okay, you guys need to schedule your next meeting.
So what are you oh, going to do with your free wouldn't... time? What free time? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the other committees I've got? That's George, right. you shouldn't feel bad. Jeff picked up two new committees. <laughs> well, I'm just curious to know why Jeff's leaving this committee. Well, it's because he picked up the building committee and the library building committee and added like five extra meetings a week to his life. Wow. So it's what's gonna the be problem? intense for the next two years, huh? The library. Yeah. And then the homework I get to do with those committees. <laughs> Well, I'm yeah. happy to step in for you, Jeff. I hope I can fill fill your shoes. Well, you I'm, I'm sure you will. That, and and, then, and, and I, I assume that George has said, yes, Becky, so the next select board meeting, you're going to appoint him before he has a chance to change his mind. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, therefore, Howard, April, and George should put their heads together uh, uh, are there days that they can't the evenings that they cannot meet would they prefer a different time of the evening it's Tuesdays. wide open yeah yeah wednesdays tend to be open for me definitely wednesdays are all right for me yeah i can do this okay i'm thinking that uh if we wait till maybe <clears throat> wednesday february 8 or 15 David will have been able to review all the new voted exemptions with me so that I feel comfortable uh, in preparing those for you to approve. I think those dates work for me. That would work the 15th? Yeah, the 15th works for me. 15th works. And, and I, I guess I also realize this is a much more work for you, Leslie, is that you're you're the intermediary. Yes. But normally the administrative assessor would be here. At and, this and I'm trying to learn everything as I go you're, along. I was really competent in my little world. Of, <laughs> don't <laughs> underestimate yourself. Oh, my gosh. You, you really you have such a wealth of knowledge. Yes, of course. <laughs> April. And you will too another month a year and then you can uh, maybe you'd like to just do a little part-time job as the <laughs> administrative assessor but and it's too bad george you'd make a great administrative assessor george uh, i'm retired doesn't mean you can't work <laughs> well, you know i like it. having a flexible schedule I can feel the arm twisting from here. Boy, that's <laughs> I'm feeling it, I'll tell you that. Well, let's see what time brings. Uh, you know, I, I probably could do the job, but, um, you know, I'm getting retired. He's old. <laughs> I'm old too, <laughs> thanks. Yes. You're not as old as I am. No, I'm not. No. I show my age more than you show yours, though. You have to not select lately. a chair also of your committee, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't you guys have to select a chairman for your committee or chairperson? Yep. Yeah, but let's wait till George is appointed so that he can right. be part of the um, vote. Yeah, we should put on the agenda for the next meeting then. Right. I, yeah. I think that's correct unless Becky says otherwise. No, we should. I'm not going to say a word. That's perfect. Yeah, I think it should be voted once the new board is convened. Yeah. I'm just going to say it probably goes by seniority, right? Well, I don't think that's a good idea. That's not a good idea at all. No. That, that's really if bad. I recall that Jeff was appointed, it was voted chairman on his first meeting. Yeah. Like in the first 10 minutes. <laughs> just so you know, it did happen that way, you two. No oh boy. I'll I'll bring the dice. We can roll the dice. A chair. So. Well, thank you all, um, yeah. all of you, for for giving the town so much. It, it, it really <laughs> means a lot. No, it does. It to keep things a village, going, especially the the year that we've had and everybody rolling with it. Jeff's even temperament just it could have been a hysterical situation, um, but it wasn't. So thank no, you. I was glad to do my part. I really was. <laughs> Yeah, it, was, it, it was minuscule, but I'm glad to do to have done it. I think it reflects our maturity. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's called old.
Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's Jeff, so go. Well, so Jeff, go build a library. Please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are a few other things we're going to build. So. Oh, and, awesome. And I'm doing stuff with Habitat, so I'm, I'm building. Over do, we, there. do we have another no, Habitat house? Are we building another Habitat house in town? No, right now we're building two over in Northampton, which we'll finish this summer, starting another two in Northampton. Oh, that's great. And then yeah. starting two more in Pelham, I just heard. That nice. Two sites in Pelham. So they said they got, we're on track for building through 19 or through 2025. Wow. There's that's awesome. Positive. That's um, great. Okay. Are these all funded? Are these all funded privately or is there government money involved? Well, usually the site is somewhat town government funded. Okay. And the actual building is a mortgage that the person has to take out to pay off the debt. It's just because all the the labor is all, most of the labor is volunteer. It's a lot cheaper house. So what, okay. were you part of the, the one that was built recently in Shootsbury? Because that's yeah. a sweet, beautiful little house. Yeah, it's yeah, really it okay. beautifully beautiful. Yeah, that's a nice little house. And we did the same house on Pelham. And then we're doing single story houses over in Northampton. And so on. Mm -hmm. But they're also right now doing a house in um, Coleraine, I believe. Hmm. Yeah. So there's a lot of them going on. Do the towns use CPA funds for the land? Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yep. so it helps us fulfill our um, affordable housing commitment. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Everybody benefits. Yep. A good thing. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Thank you. All righty. All right. Well, yeah, and Jeff, I don't know how to thank you for all of the, the stuff that you've done. We're going to miss you. Well, if you need anything, give me a call. You know where I am. <laughs> Get this book, everybody. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jeff. Good luck with the library sure. project. Take care of Yes, them. thank you, everyone. Good night. Okay, night, everybody. Good night. Good night. See you soon. Okay.